For part one of making the batter, you need a medium sized bowl, three eggs, a one and a fourth cup of milk, a fourth a cup of melted butter, one cup of flour, an eighth a teaspoon of salt. That's it. That's one egg. Now take a one and a fourth cup of milk, and pour it in with the eggs. Put a stick of butter in half to make it a fourth a cup. Now take the wrapper off the butter and put it into a cup. Put your cup in the microwave for one minute. While it's in the microwave, uh, stir the stuff in the bowl. Looks like the butter is almost done. Pour the butter in with the rest of it. Now get one cup of flour. Now put an eighth of teaspoon of salt into your mixture. Now stir it all together. until it looks like a light cream. For the cooking part of making the crepes, you're going to need an electric skillet or just one of these. Canola oil or any type of cooking spray. A spatula, a spoon, and a serving plate. Before starting to put the crepes on the skillet, remember to grease the pan. The temperature should be about 210. Now put your spoon almost halfway and bring it onto the crepe pan. If you're using an electric skillet, try to make about six crepes. And you're done. Be careful not to let your crepes burn while you're not looking. After about two minutes, your crepes should be slightly brown, not watery, and ready to flip. Shortly after that, your crepes are ready to be served onto the plate. Then you're done. Keep doing this, keep doing this until all your batter is used up. Now our crepes are ready, but who would eat them plain? Well, I guess he does. Here's our selection of toppings. First, we have regular pancake syrup, Hershey's syrup, cherries, fig and hazelnut spread, and provolone cheese. But for those who like something a little more spicy, we have salsa and sharp Vermont cheddar. Let's start out with a little cheese. 
to take a piece of crepe in a small amount of cheese. And all you have to do is fold it in half. It's that simple. And now for some cherries. Take a fairly big crepe and maybe about a couple cherries. And that's all you need to do. Now for the chocolate. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Just spray a small amount on because it's going to get everywhere and fold it like usual. The pancake syrup is pretty much the same as chocolate, but we'll do it anyway. Like before, put a small amount on, and this might actually be too much, and fold it. Now let's introduce a new chef whose specialties in spicy food. Let's take a look at this. For those who like a spice food, let's have a very, very spice one. You take a crepe, and then you take a little of this salsa, and your brain will be okay, as, my, as long as take a mild or hot according to your taste, then you spread, just spread a little bit. Just the crepe would bring up all the taste of the sauce. And then maybe a little bit. You can use a little spoon if you want or a knife, no problem. And then you take a slice of cheese, any cheese you like, the spice is better, just to bring the South American taste at your home. And that's it. By now your crepes might be a little cold, so let's heat it up. Put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Now they should be ready. All this work really has paid off. Now let's try them. This is past the test. Now it's ready to be served to anyone else. A lot of loads at one time because of the septic system.